Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel AgriEdit. So as you all know, the ICR, PG and PhD exams as over and you people are uh, eagerly waiting for your rank card release and the scorecard, scorecard has been finally announced. And the students who are actually getting uh, very good marks and expected to get a rank below 100 in the plant sciences, they have this specific doubt to whether to go for the PGR in IRA or any other major subjects in other state agriculture universities. I started getting a lot of messages from the students asking this one common question. So I thought uh, we should have a one best person to answer this. So we have one best person, a resource person who will actually answer this question since he has completed his masters and also a PhD from the plant genetic resource. Uh, welcome you to our platform. So please introduce yourself. Hello, I am Chetan Kumar KB. I, I graduated from College of Agriculture, Bimran Gudi. University of Agriculture Sciences, Raichur, Karnataka in the year 2018 and then I secured All India Rank 48 in ICR PG exam in the same year 2018 and got seat in Division of Plant Genetic Resources, ICR IRI. Then I completed my Masters in 2020 from IRI and got All India Rank 3 in ICR PhD exam and secured PhD seat in Department of Plant Genetic Resources, ICR IRI. So uh, along with this is also my beloved junior from our state. Uh, so mm -hmm. I know him personally before uh, we come into this platform. So he will be explaining in detail about this PGR, the career opportunities and uh, who should choose this subject if you are coming for this PGR. So let us start with the uh, complete details about PGR. What is PGR and how it is in Delhi? PGR that is plant genetic resources is a subject under uh, plant sciences. There are total three subjects under plant sciences, genetics and plant breeding, seed science and technology and plant genetic resources. So when I completed my graduation and got good rank, All India rank 48, I inquired with my seniors and they were of the same view that uh, at that time there was, the, many seniors were telling why choose a unique stream and when all are going with the genetics and plant breeding, why can't you take genetics and continue genetics in some other university and try to get admission for PhD in I, 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 I. Okay. So, but uh, what I was thinking was, I thought like I'll prepare for civil, so I wanted to be at IRI because Delhi is a hub for civil services. Okay. So, your main priority was not the department. Yeah. Your main priority was that you want to come for IRI at any cost, so yeah. that you can prepare for civils. So that yeah. is why you have choose this subject. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then while even filling the uh, choice for the courses and universities also, I preferred first plant genetic resources, uh, first is genetics and plant breeding in IRI and second option was PGR from IRI. Okay. At that time, my mindset was like, I will go for sales. But then when I entered into MSc and when I came to know that getting seat is also not that much difficult for PhD in PGR, okay. so I continued with PhD also. But I, earlier I had no plans for PhD. Then I completed my PhD. And now I also, at the, luckily I got uh, ARS vacancies in the same year and I, I have appeared for ARS. So you are telling like uh, getting into the PhD after completing MSc is quite easy in case of PGR compared to other subjects in plant sciences. Yes, yeah, yeah because uh, the competition will also be less and PGR is uh, a degree which is offered you for you only in ICI, IRI New Delhi. Okay. Earlier there was... Uh, MSc degree awarded in TNAO, but 3-4 years back they have shut down the degree and they have terminated. And so I say IRA is the only... Okay, the IRA thing. is the sole uh, institute, which, institute which is providing the degree for both PG and PhD in case of plant genetic resources. Okay, sir, thank you. Yes. And next, uh, let us talk about the career opportunities. Like what are the career opportunities that we can explore if we are finishing our degree in uh, uh, MSc in PGR or PhD in PGR? If you are well... Uh, good in your subject and you have completed your PhD from PGR, you can, first option is you can appear for Agriculture Research Service, ARS exam, which is conducted by ASRB. And uh, vacancies are also quite good and this year they have, we had six vacancies and last year we had five vacancies. Okay. When compared to the students enrolled, the ratio is... And the success rate is success high. Success rate is high because the number, number, number of, of students, students and number of seats are... Okay. The competition uh, is less. Ratio is less. Okay. One compared is ARS. Breeding. Yes. So one good opportunity is ARS, yes. so other than ARS? Next option is this year they have also called uh, scientist post for plant genetic resources in Central Silk Board under Ministry of Textiles. Okay. Three vacancies have been come and even there we can compete in PGR but in ARS there is a cross eligibility where genetic students and seed science can also compete in PGR but 
uh, very less do that but if we just don't want to compete in genetics and seed science it, it will be little bit uh, uh, difficult but they can still uh, difficult but they can still compete because they have studied it in for preparation for jira okay so this is also a quite good opportunity even if you are interested in the major subjects like genetics you can take this pgr for your pg if you are completely potential enough then you can compete with the genetics and the other uh, department students like uh, seed science like base specifically genetics and seed science like if you are completing your degree in the pgr still you will be eligible to give the ars exam in either genetics or seed science and this is same for them also they will be also eligible to give their exams in seed science and pgr so if you are potential enough you can push yourself to give the exams for other subjects too so this is one flexibility that you will get if you are doing the pgr there have been some examples also where uh, one of our senior okay. uh, she completed masters in genetics and plant breeding and then enrolled for phd in pgr okay. and then she gave uh, for ars in genetics and cleared okay. cleared ars in genetics oh that's nice so this is about the ars and the other scientists post in other organizations so apart from these like what are the other temporary. career opportunities that you have for a temporary job if you need some job until you get settled permanently you can uh, work as a research associate or sra srf or jrf in nbpjr headquarters or nbpjr regional stations there are totally 10 regional stations all over india and also since there are seven departments inside nbpjr itself that is division of plant quarantine division of uh, germplasm conservation division of germplasm exploration and uh, exp exploration and collection germplasm characterization and evaluation division and then division of genomic resources okay. so you, you, for your research work you can take three unique objectives and work on all the three aspects where you can search for career opportunities in any of your research so uh, you getting to have a career opportunities or explore yourself in the different uh, fields in a single department and you can get expertise in that and based on that you will be able to make your career yes so this is about the government like what about the private opportunities what are the opportunities in the private sectors if you are completing the degree in case of pgr msc or phd in private sector field the students who have been passed out have not explored it in private sector okay. because when before they get before they pass out they get settled in civil services or in any state government job and many a times when there are many students who graduated from pg either ars has been notified seat, or seat has been notified or silk board okay some other uh, seat seat have been income. notified so and most of them are settling in the government institutions only not going uh -huh. for the not exploring the private yeah. opportunities and, uh, and is there any is, scope for uh, in the abroad um as it is said by many of our professors uh, the scope in india for pgr is very less when compared to abroad okay so there is a lot of scope in for pgr in abroad you, you can try for pdf or you can join some labs or some private companies abroad but until now no one has explored but if the student wants they can do okay and you have any experience or exposure to the foreign countries you have been any time in your msc yes uh, in during our msc second year under world bank funded nhcp project okay. where uh, we have visited with our professor to london there we were uh, fortunate to visit millennium seed gene bank which is in kew london and also kew royal botanical gardens london which is a world heritage site okay. so there we got some exposure about the seed gene bank which we, which can be inculcate, incorporated into our national seed gene bank okay so you feel like there are a lot of good opportunities in case of foreign countries compared to the india for this degree yes when we interacted with the professionals there and the students there we came to know that uh, the, there is some scope for pgr abroad and many of our friends have also visited us and australia for, uh, for pgr related work and they also feel the same okay so this is about the career opportunities apart from these like uh, there are any specific or uh, this is com common to all other degrees uh, other uh, posts or the recruitments that we are the call by yes, the uh, students yes apart from these uh, career opportunities you can also you are also eligible for all the career opportunities which other common degrees which are common for all other degrees all other nothing degrees. specific to pgr so this is about the career opportunities now like the common question that haunts everyone is who should actually choose this pgr subject if he or she is a student and securing a good marks in this icr pg and a good rank in this icr pg exam plant sciences 
so whether he or she should uh, choose this subject and what factors should be considered while choosing this subject like what do you think sir based on your experience so to wind up it in a one single paragraph what i would like to say is the people who wanted to um, who who are interested in civil services and who wanted to crack civil service ex- examination who have come here they have also if they work hard personally they have also cleared many civil service examination and they are in good post and also the students who are inclined towards subject and who wanted to be good in subject stream itself they have also uh, come up well with their research work in msc masters and they have uh, got opportunity to work abroad and they are also well of the idea and they are also thinking that they will get settled if they stick to the subject also so it com- completely depends on their uh, each person okay, person go like what How target they are keeping so basically like if the student is actually concentrating or targeting for clearing any government exam not only the epsc any state agriculture exams or any state government exams or the central government exams if their priority is that they want to get the job after completing into after completing their masters then pgr is also one good option but they should be confident about this that they will all, they will only go for the private or sorry they will only go for this competitive exams or else like there is also a plan b like if you are interested if you get interested like chetan sir has got some interest after coming into the msc regarding the subjects then you can also compete for the ars and also you can look into the opportunities from the other organization like silk boards recently they it has called the vacancies and also you can explore the foreign countries uh, where there are good opportunities to build your career so this is what you said right sir yeah, yeah. so anything that you want to conclude at the end uh, any tip or advice to your juniors to conclude what i say who are watching this video is don't take whatever we have told you first analyze what you want to do and then you can do it because i i was in the same position when i chose pgr so i was interested in civil services and chose pgr but now i got and it is also quite easy to get pgr seat from uh, after msc in phd here itself because the scientific staff are very good here and what you learn in msc here uh, some other student who de- do their um, other degree they can't okay take so that ma- uh, this is i think the students degree. are not aware of this thing I, as sir mentioned that in india only iri is providing this degree of masters and phd but still this exam of phd entrance the students who are not from the agriculture background they can also come and compete with you people but during this competition the students from the ira will definitely get the seats for the phd as i said told the scientific staff are well good well enough so that they teach well and uh, the students can easily crack this exam okay not uh, other than pgr the other background is just they allow only the botany graduates to give phd okay. only so, botany graduates uh, are eligible to give this exams okay. phd entrance exam in case of pgr so majority of questions will be from pgr few questions will be from botany background so they will not compete okay. that much say. for the students for- of ira okay so i hope like uh, this video will be informative for all of you who are actually in the dilemma that whether you have to choose the pgr or should you go to for the major subjects like genetics and plant breeding in some other state agriculture universities if you are not getting ira uh, if you have any other queries to ask you can always comment in this video we are very happy to help thank you thank, thank you so you. much sir thank you